ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trisha with Insectopia, and we are pretty close to being October 8th. I am so sorry, ladies and gentlemen, about whatever that was. Um, YouTube seems to think that I hit my API quota for yesterday, um, so... My only guess is that I was hacked because I didn't really interact with YouTube yesterday. I wasn't like posting content. I wasn't sending a lot of comments or anything like that. And the only way I would run out of API is if like someone was using my account to like comment on a bunch of videos or like um, spam a bunch of people. Um, and that's not something that I do. And so I'm not sure what exactly happened, but. Um, I didn't want this live stream to go without an Invertover episode 8. So, um, it is slightly after midnight, but midnight is when my, um, API resets. So, we had enough energy and enough time to make it through this one. And I hope that whatever happens, I'm going to be changing my password to see if that fixes anything. Um, and then I hope tomorrow... We have the ability to do our live stream because tomorrow we are going to be doing, um, tomorrow we're going to be looking at my scorpion. So I hope to be able to do that. I am so sorry to every single person out there who tried to go to come to my live stream and was unable to earlier today. Um, that I, I honestly, I don't think I had any control over what happened. Um, and I'm still looking into why it happened. All right, this is our Death's Head moth that we're going to be spreading today. I just wanted to get one in the books tonight, one more in the books on YouTube, just so that um, it's, on, it's on the channel and that I don't have an empty day because I'd hate to have Invertober and have every day but day eight. Um, so we're just live streaming. We're just going to get this guy one done and then we can go ahead and say good night. Um, and I understand if not very many of you out there are going to rejoin because, you know, we're about two hours late for our live stream. Um, I did go ahead and this is the death's head moth that I spread, um, when I went over to my Facebook channel. I did go live on Facebook, um, because that's the only place I could go live and they were allowing me to go live, so I just went live over there and then, um, I waited essentially until after midnight so that I could come live here. Now, our moths are nice, and I don't know if I've shown you the bottom of these. So this is what the bottom of a Death's Head Sphinx moth looks like. You may have expected it to be kind of a dark brown to, brown to black color, but Death's Head moths are actually this very nice kind of bright orange color. Let's see. That's my highest light. So you can see kind of that bright orange color. And they still have that orange and black striping on the abdomen. And even bright orange colors on the bottom side of their wings. So if you actually compare the top to the bottom, the bottom of the front wings are probably more orange than the top. It's kind of pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck her legs in. Make sure she is going to fit into that channel here. Um, like I said earlier on Facebook, we are not putting pins through our specimen because we are actually doing these for a display. So I'm putting these pins kind of around the specimen. I want one in front of the head for sure. And then I want another one. Um, I want them to kind of cross at the abdomen, but here, the, um, the legs are getting in the way just a little bit. So I want to put a pin on either side of these legs and kind of tuck them in. All the while attempting to keep our body straight. That's better. All right. 
So I'm going to put these pins up here in the front to hold her front. And then I'm going to cross some pins on her abdomen to make sure that her abdomen stays down and controlled when we're spreading the wings. Now, when we get done with actually spreading her, we may actually take these pins out and put them underneath um underneath of her body because her abdomen is super heavy and so as it dries it needs a little bit of support or it's gonna kind of start to lean down and it's gonna kind of start to lose a lot of elevation oh good morning chaos i'm so happy that you are here i had so many problems starting my live stream at normal time today um, YouTube insists, oh, look at how beautiful, um, YouTube insists that I have, that I have used all of my API quota for today, and I didn't even really understand, understand what that meant until I went and I looked it up, um, and I'm still having a hard time finding even more information about it, but I hope that doesn't happen again tomorrow. All right, so this moth is nice and relaxed, so her wing is opening up really nicely here. I'm going to go ahead and put our paper right here, kind of at the edge of this, and I can go ahead and touch and hold the wing as hard as I would like at this point because this glassine envelope or this um, essentially wax paper here is not going to hurt the scales of our moth at all. So we can go ahead and just kind of surround that wing with these um, pins. Now, now that I've looked at it a little bit, um, I see that it's probably a little high. We're probably going to be lowering that side a little bit. But admittedly, I would rather pull... Oops. I would rather pull the um, moth a little um the moth's wing just a little bit too high um rather than not high enough because um pulling it a little further is more difficult than just letting the wing relax a little bit which is what we'll be able to do. Now, our friend, this r wing on the right here, every time I pull up and open up its wing, it's starting to pull up my body here. So I'm going to be adding another... Let's see, probably right about here. I'm going to be adding another pin that's cross here so that hopefully this... Um, this uh, wing won't pull the body out of the channel. So um, you can see here that the um, that the wing is not really. So there's going to be a muscle right about here where. Um, at the base of my wing that seems to be just a little bit stiffer than the other side so when I pull it instead of it just kind of opening up the wing is bending so I want to try and make sure that we keep this as flat as possible man she doesn't want to open There we go. So I'm just going around these wings and I'm placing um, these pins to hold this paper down so that these wings stay nice and flat as they're drying and they don't do any kind of curling or weirdness. Um, these specimens are going to be used in shadow boxes so they do not have pins through their bodies. So now, 
we're gonna look. I actually have, let's see, I have a horizontal line and our goal is for those hind, the hind edges of the front wings to make a horizontal line across the body. So you can see that right wing is already relaxing just a little bit and you, ow, oh, poked myself with a pin. All right. And you know what? Maybe my right side was um, being difficult because my left side was too high. I guess that's also possible. So I let it relax to kind of where it wanted to sit. And I'm going to put pins back around the wing and see what it looks like here. Because it might need to go just a little bit lower. But that actually looks pretty even. Now you see there's not really a complete straight line across. Because those wings, they do have a little bit of a wave or a little bit of an angle. But I'd say those are pretty dang even. So we're going to be um, spreading up the hind wings now. To see what she looks like. Yes, Sunday I'm going to be doing a regular sketch. This is a late Saturday live stream. Um, this is my late Saturday live stream. So I wasn't able to live stream at, at 10 p.m. on Saturday night because um, my YouTube was having some type of issue. Um, and so Sunday, which it will be later today, we will be doing a normal insect sketch. Um, so that's going to be tonight. But today is Saturday. Or it's Sunday midnight. But I was supposed to do this about two hours ago. I'm sorry if I confused you, Chaos. I am just going to be finishing essentially this one um, death head moth, and then I'm going to be heading to bed. I I did live stream um, pinning this one up here um, about two hours ago on Facebook, and I've been working for those, um, and I've been working for the last two hours trying to figure out why my YouTube live stream wouldn't start. Um... And, but when I finally figured it out, they're really essentially, I don't know how to fix it, fix it. It keeps telling me that um, I'm over my YouTube quota. And I don't think that's really possible. Especially because I'm live streaming now. Oh, chaos, it's already Sunday for you. That makes sense. I'm sorry about the confusion. So for me, um, for me, this is me finishing up my Saturday live stream. And yes, we will be doing our normally scheduled Sunday sketching classes um, tonight. Or tomorrow night. Your tonight. But she's pretty though, right? <sighs> All right, so we gotta we got our we got our um, death head spread. Her wings are all spread, but there's a couple of things I want to do to kind of adjust her body. Number one is I want to pick up her abdomen a little bit. Actually, you see right here her t her um, her leg is sticking out, so I'm gonna be taking her leg and kind of tucking it down there into the channel, and then I'm gonna take my pins and instead of having them above her abdomen, um, kind of holding her abdomen down to control it, I'm gonna be using them to pick up her abdomen so that her abdomen is kind of even with her body, and 
Then I'm going to be taking, we've got two or three pins up here near pronotum um, that we were using to kind of hold our body straight that we're now going to go in here and find our antenna and pull our antenna out. I agree. She is awesome. And thank you for being understanding about the um, uh, about the stream. I was really upset when it happened because I had a handful of people, and you can see in the chat box above, I had a bunch of people that were here that they were really excited to see it, and I even had somebody that came who was new, and um, they didn't get to watch me... They didn't get to watch me do this either because um, cause the channel wouldn't stream. I'm afraid that I've got hacked or something and that someone is using my account to spend all of the API points. That's what I think is happening. So there's something that happened when I... When I when I fixed her abdomen um, and pulled out her antenna, and that is that she came up a little bit out of the channel. And so I'm gonna try and take some pins and push her down just a little bit. I don't wanna mess with the skull patterning here, but if I go across her body kind of in front of the skull, um, I don't think it's going to have too much of effect on the fur or the hairs on its body. And I want my moth to be just a little bit lower into this, um, into this channel. Yeah, like that. Oh! Yes, I should do both of those. I can do that, Chaos. So I'll go and I'll make sure I change my password right after this live stream and go ahead and enable that two-way. Um, and then, hopefully, hopefully we won't run into that issue again. So, um... Thank you so much. I am kind of exhausted, so I'm going to be signing off for the day. I'm really happy that I was able to at least live stream for a couple of minutes so that it doesn't look like I have a missed day on my YouTube channel. So we just spent um, just a couple of minutes spreading and pinning a Death's Head Sphinx Moth, and I hope um, everybody has a wonderful rest of their day. So here's our... Um, Here's our lives. Here's our closer. Uh, we have out school, which is where I teach elementary and middle school aged students. Um, if you are a high school student and you really, really want to take an entomology class or you want to be like have some one on one time, we can definitely work something out there. Um, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and um, that is the little box if you would like to buy me a coffee or more pins. Um, or real spreading boards. <laughs> um, I uh, did actually home make the spreading boards I was using today in during my YouTube live during my live stream on Facebook today. Um, but that's all right. I hope that everyone has a wonderful rest of your night. I'm glad we were able to do episode of eight of Invert Tober, and I'm hoping that there's no issues for episode nine. So um, I will keep you in the loop, and I will be double checking that two or three times um, over the course of this next uh, over the course of the next 24 hours. So have a wonderful rest of your night, and stay buggy. Bye.